Is it entirely possible that Matt Stafford is getting too much love? Let's talk Lions, or in this case, X-Lions. Welcome back. I appreciate you all being here for being dedicated to the channel here at Let's Talk Lions. Thank you for liking this video below as well. Something cool within the next two weeks, I'm going to be rolling out uh, memberships for you guys. There's going to be three different tiers of things that you guys will get on the content side of the channel. So keep an eye out for it. It's going to be fun. I'm going to bring you guys some new content different than what you're seeing here strictly on the channel. Look, so something that I want to talk about is the fact that Stafford is being praised in a way that he has never been praised before. He was never given the compliments or seen in the light that he is being seen now that he is no longer in Detroit and now that he's in a big market in a big city like LA. From QB ranking lists to Sean McVay's love fest, you name it. And I do want to be cautious in the way that I approach this because in Detroit, there are two different camps or there were two different camps regarding Stafford. Number one, you would die for the man. Or number two, he never won you a playoff game, therefore he's dead to you. I mean, it's it's fairly straightforward. Lions fans just had two perspectives. He was either your very own Atlas carrying the team on his back, or he just never got it done, was never good enough. I mean, I think Stafford, no matter what camp you fall in, he made us all feel safe. Uh, that's kind of the word I would use on any given Sunday. You sat there in the fourth quarter. You're like, well, we could win. We could win. I know we're down 21, but it could happen. Angels in the outfield style. It didn't matter in the fourth quarter. We all felt the surge of it could happen. No matter what camp you fall into while Stafford was a lion, as a fan, you could take a step back and look at the fact that he was never given the love that he is getting right now. He was never given the amount of praise that he is receiving now that he's in LA. The most that I ever really heard or saw from big time ESPN or, or some of these guys, some of these bigger anchors was he's tough and he can make a comeback in the fourth quarter. And both those things are absolutely true. But all of a sudden he heads to LA and the guy's a god. Every major media outlet looked at him and said, well, he's never won a playoff game. So, and it sort of just ended there. I mean, Stafford should have just changed his name to Ichabod and called it a day while he was here in Detroit because that man received no glory, whether on the field or off the field. Well, then the magic trade happens with LA. He rides off into the West to the undying lands. Out of nowhere, Stafford's receiving more love this offseason before a single snap than he did in his 12 years in Detroit. And I'm talking about outside of the city of Detroit. We Lions fans know what Stafford is able to accomplish on any given Sunday. My God, have we sat there and chewed off our nails like it's zebra gum. Flavorless, but phenomenal temporary tattoos. We have watched the amount of fourth quarter comebacks are insane. What that guy is able to do, he always kept us in the game. However, never got it done. Everybody looked at that on the outside, said, well, you're not able to get it done. So all of a sudden he slaps on a new uniform and everybody's all hyped about him. People are over the moon regarding him outside of Detroit. It's just a wee bit frustrating, you could say. And where was all this when he was in Detroit? I mean, if you're going to look and just say, well, look at the pieces around him, blah, blah, blah. No, no. To me, this is the classic case of, well, while you play in Detroit, nobody gives a flying horse's butt tax regarding you. But the moment you head to a large market team, everybody cares you're a demigod. All at the same time, Jared Goff leaves LA and heads to Detroit. Goff has successfully won three playoff games. And last time I checked, that's three more than Matt Stafford. So... Some of you, before you jump down my throat like the dust off a strawberry wafer cookie, let me just say this. 
I'm not sitting here knocking Stafford's career in Detroit. That man gave us so much. He gave us 12 years. He accomplished a ton, put up some serious stats, got us to the playoffs, but he did not successfully ever help us win a playoff game. Whereas Jared Goff, only a few seasons in, he's what, 26, 27 years old, comes to Detroit, has had serious success, has won multiple playoff games, has seen a Super Bowl. No, he did not win, but he has indeed seen the Super Bowl, seen the promised land. To me, here he is getting shipped off like he's just not worth anything to Detroit. Sean McVay has very clearly spoken his piece regarding Stafford. I think the amount that McVay is talking about Stafford, talking up Stafford, clearly shows the way he feels about Jared Goff's performance. Clearly shows that he never believed in Goff, didn't like Goff, didn't want Goff. Fill in the L blank here, like it's a mad lib in the fifth grade. Goff, Stafford, doesn't matter. Football is so much more than the quarterback. We all know that. There is so much to it. There is. There is. However, what I'm going to say is, I believe that Stafford is receiving way too much love since he has left Detroit. Otherwise, where was that love over the last 12 years? Why is this the first time that we're hearing about him like he's this demigod? Meanwhile, while he played in Detroit, he did not receive this type of attention. In fact, I watched a solid interview of safety Jimmy Ward from the 49ers. The interview was done by a guy named Grant Cone Con. I don't know how to pronounce his name, whatever. But I do want to actually throw it up on the screen for you guys to watch as the question gets brought up about Matt Stafford playing in LA, obviously in the same division as the Niners. In fact, I'm going to watch it with you guys. So without any further ado, let's roll it. You still got the same people who you throwing a ball to. Yeah, you can say argue and say he's the same quarterback, but he's the same quarterback that's been in the same system in Detroit Lions and they still didn't go to the playoffs. And you had Megatron, so it's like, what was the what was the problem over there with Detroit? Is you gonna blame the city? Like, what was the problem? Yeah, he had a lot of time over there to win. Is it the Good money? Point. City don't have the money when if the city doesn't have enough money to bring players over there, why do they even have an NFL team? That's a good point. Oh, that's that's a big question mark. And so you went you went and traded Goff off a Goff who went to playoffs of what several times and went to the Super Bowl. Yeah, he lost. Went to the Super Bowl though. I'm yet to see that with with uh Matt Stafford. And you want to just and I'm saying he's still great, great, great staff. I believe I, I'm saying I believe he's uh I believe he's a top ten cornerback. Mm. I'm not gonna lie, maybe top five. I don't know. We'll see. But I'm just saying I'm just going off of off of what I see. And I see Jared Goff end up getting the boys to a Super Bowl. And like I said, he got him to like, uh, I want to say what, the NFC Championship once uh, with twice? Yes. And lost one. So, yeah. That's true. Look, I think Jimmy Ward puts it absolutely perfectly. First and foremost, he brings up, well, okay, are you going to blame the city? Like, do you blame the city of Detroit? And that's where Matt Stafford's failures were. And all of a sudden, you're just going to make this trade and like he's going to come out and be a totally different quarterback. And yes, guys do leave cities, revitalize their career. Heck, that's what we're hoping for out of Goff. Hoping that he leaves LA, comes to Detroit, revitalizes his career. However, the question that he asks, I think is phenomenal. Are you going to blame the city for Stafford's failures? And when all of a sudden you look and Stafford goes to LA... Now everybody's talking about him like he's a totally different quarterback. He hasn't even snapped one ball. I just don't, don't love this. Also, Ward brought up a fascinating point. Stafford's got to throw to the same guys that Goff had to throw to. That's what he said. He, quote, he still got to throw the ball to the same people that Goff had to. I mean, come on now. I look at Stafford. Stafford had Megatron, as Ward brought up. Stafford had Kenny Galladay. Stafford has had some solid wide receivers to throw the ball to. TJ Hawkinson in his Pro Bowl career last year. To me, there's all of a sudden this newfound glory, this newfound shiny object 
going to LA and Stafford being treated in a way that talked about in a way that he was never talked about while he was in Detroit. Ward then brings up Goff and Goff's performance in playoffs, in regular season play, bringing those boys, as he said, bringing the LA Rams to the Super Bowl. All I'm saying is all of a sudden, Stafford heads to LA, to the big city out on the West Coast. He goes there and he's now this prime piece of meat Whereas it's the same guy who had excellent, excellent receivers here in Detroit. No, maybe not all the pieces were there, obviously. But he never won a playoff game. Stafford never got us over the hump that we needed to get over in 12 years. He heads to LA and he's being talked about in a totally different light. A light that he was never talked about here in Detroit. It's frustrating. I think it just sheds a... Big old light on the fact that when people come to Detroit, they are talked about in a different way and the city and the teams that play in the city are disrespected. There's a reason why people have the attitude of it's Detroit versus everybody. If if you've ever had reason to wonder to me, this is a great example in the sports category, why it's Detroit versus everybody. And if you disagree with me, that's totally cool. Down to talk with you about it in the comments, but Is it at all possible that Stafford is getting too much love? Or did Stafford just never get the love that he deserved while he was in Detroit? Throw your thoughts in the comments. This is what I got for you today. I look forward to reading it, discussing it with you. As always, I will catch you next time on Let's Talk Lines. I think I'm going to go eat a lemon poppy seed muffin now. I made some the other night. Delicious, delicious. Very lemon forward, but I mean... I like that. I mean, a lot of people are like, oh, I don't like, you know, citrus and my dessert, whatever. I love a good lemon poppy seed muffin. Though I think I'm just realizing, does poppy seed even have a taste?